Hello! In this video, we are going to do the part 1a of the exercise on simple solving of the computational aspects part of the course Answer Set Solving in Practice. So here we have the program P with these atoms, sprinkler, rain, wet, and I have copied it here just using the initials of the atoms. And I have also copied it here because in the exercise we are always going to be doing the redact of this program with respect to the lower bound that we have at that moment and the redact of the program with respect to the up bound. So then it's just handy to have both program the program copied twice so that we make the redact for with respect to the lower bound and the up bound. And at each step we are going to be to have here this set L prime. Then with this L prime, we are going to get the consequences of P reduced by L prime. And, uh, and then basically we do the intersection and we will get the set U. And on the other hand, with U prime, we are going to do the redact here, get the consequences, and then we do the union and we get the L, right? So here we will have basically this thing, right? Okay, so let's start with this. And initially the lower bound is just the empty set and the upper bound is the set of all atoms. So this is the same as saying that we know, we do not know of any atom that is true and all are possible or from the other perspective, nothing is known to be false. Okay, then um, if we have the empty set here, let's do the redact of the program. So then this disappears from the redact and this also. And then the consequences of this program contain the atom R, S, R, and W. And then we go with it and write it down here. S, R, and W. And then we just do the intersection of these two and we get the same set S, R, W. Okay, so then um, basically, this we can read uh, as follows. What this is telling us is that if if any stable model that is bigger uh, than than this set must be smaller than this set, right? And then, given that we already knew that it was smaller than this set, we can do the intersection and get this one. So then what we know now is that every stable model that is bigger than this set is smaller than this, but this doesn't give us any information, right? Because we already knew this. We already had this set here at the beginning. And now if we go from the other direction, we start here, then we do the redact. So these rules disappear, and then we are left with the empty set as the as the consequences of this of this redact, right? So then we write it here, and now we do the union and we get the empty set. So then the way we can read this is as follows: is that if we know that if x, if a stable model is smaller than this set, then it has to be bigger than this one. And given that it has to be bigger than this one and then bigger than this one, it has to be bigger than this one here. The thing is that what we obtain here really doesn't provide any information, right? Because this is the empty set. So in the end, what we get is that if this, if the, any stable model that is smaller than this is bigger than this, which we already knew at the beginning. So this step didn't bring any new information. But now what happened is that L prime equals L and U prime equals Y. So then we finish this uh, expand procedure and we have to do some choices. And then also let me clean this here. And then here we could choose on S, R or W and here we are going to make a choose on R. Okay, so initially, let's say that R is true. So we are going to reason by cases and see the case where, where L is, R is true and the case where R is false. And in this way, we cover all possible cases, right? So here we have then R, and here we keep this S, R, W. Right, so we are going to consider the stable models that are bigger than R and smaller 
than SRW. So basically, this is like saying R is true and we know nothing to be false. Okay, let's continue. So we have R, then let's do the redact. So with R, this goes away, this goes away, and we derive R and with this one W. So then we have to put here this RW. And we do the intersection and we get RW. Right, then we can read it like this. So if we know, if we are looking for a stable model that is bigger than R, then we know that it's going to be smaller than RW. This is the information that we have. So, and, and given that it was smaller than this, we can take the intersection. So then we know that it's smaller than RW. And uh, another way of seeing this is that this is telling us that if if there's some stable model that is bigger than uh, than this one, so that contains R, uh, then it cannot contain S. Hmm? And if you come here to look at the program, this makes sense because if the program has R, uh, there's no way you can have the S because this would be the only rule, but if it has the R, uh, it cannot have it. And this is what we are writing here. Hmm? Good, now let's go from here and now what happens is that we start with SRW like we did before. So, and, and before we already saw that the consequences of the redact is the empty set, then we can just copy it here. And now we do the union. Be careful here, it's not the intersection. So it's the union and then we get R. And then the way we can read this is that uh, we know the same, we read it the same way as before because we say, if there's a stable model is smaller than this, then we know that it should be bigger than this. But then what happens is that we are looking for something that is bigger than this and this, so then we are looking for something that is bigger than this, right? Okay, now we continue. We write here the R and here the RW. And now here, given that we have the R, we have to build the consequences, and this is exactly what we had before, right? Because we have already calculated the consequences of the redact like exactly here, right? So we can just copy this. I mean, we there's no need in repeating this calculation. And here we do the intersection, and we get again uh, W. Hmm? Now, um, so. Yes, okay, this was good. I was a bit lost in this moment. Okay, now we have this U prime, and we have to build the redact with respect to, to U prime, and we have not done any redact like this, uh, the redact of this set before. So let's do it here with RW. With the R, we get rid of this. S is false, so this goes away. And then we have R and W that comes from here. And then with RW, we get here, and we get this, and now we do the union, and we have our W. Good, so now let's read what we have done. What we have is that if there is some stable model that is smaller than this, then it must be bigger than this. Yes, this is the consequence that we... So another way of putting it is if S is false, then R and W must be true. And we can see this because this says that because uh, if S is false, then from here we derive the R and the W from there, right? So um, this makes sense, right? That if S is false, then R and W are true. If S is false, we derive the R and the W from there, right? I think this is important also for you to understand while doing the exercise, these intuitions, especially because you can make small mistakes, but then when you try to understand the results that you get, you have a chance to correct them. Okay, and now here we have a W, and here we have a W. So basically what I'm doing is copying this to here and copying this to there. Okay, and then for a W, Mm, here we have already done the redact that they found the consequences of the redact that are RW. So then we can just copy them 
And then here we do the intersection and it's a W. And the other, here it's the same thing, right? We have to find the consequences of the redact with respect to the set. And we already found that they were a W here before. So then we can just copy them. And then the union is a W. So now what happens is that this set is the same as this one. So the lower bound doesn't change. The upper bound doesn't change and both are the same, right? So then we, just, and okay, and also what happens is that L equals U, right? So then we know, so we can finish this part here. We know that um, RW is a stable model of the problem. So we can write it here, like stable models of P equals, and here we have the set R. Uh, W that we have just found. Good. So now let's move on. Here we were making a uh, true. So now let's make a uh, false. And another way of saying let's make a uh, false can be let's make a uh, impossible. So just let's delete it from here. Then we have the set S W and here we keep the empty set, right? So now in a way we forget about this and we continue from here. We get the, okay, let me write it just like before. And from here, we make our false and we move to this part. Okay, so let's do again what we were doing before. So with the empty set, we have already here the consequences of the redact. So then we write here as a W and we do the intersection and we keep SW. And now um, on this other part, we have U prime. So we have to get the consequences um, of P reduced by this set of atoms. And we have, this is a new set. We haven't done it before, so we cannot take advantage of previous computations. So we can just do the redact here again. Okay, so now I was doing it with U prime, I'm doing it here, so I have to do it. So with SW, this goes away, this goes away, and I drive the S from here and the W from here. And then I have SW, and here I do the union and I get SW. Well, right, let's try to interpret this. So what this is saying is that if there's an stable model that is smaller than this, it should be bigger than this. Or another way, if R uh, is false, then S and W must be true. And this makes sense because if R is false here, so, okay, if this is satisfied, we derive the R from here, the S from here, and from here we get the W. Nice. Okay, then we continue and we put here the SW and here also the SW. Now we have to get the consequences of the program reduced by this. But we have already computed, right? Because from SW, we already got that these are the consequences. So we can add them on both sides. And here we do the intersection. And here we do the union. And then that's it, right? Because here, these two sets are equal. So we stop expanding. And here this, okay, given that these these two pairs of sets are equal. Um, so, okay, let's say, given that this is equal to this and this is equal to this, we stop. And now what happens is that given that this is equal to this, we know that SW is an stable model. Then we can add it here. And this finishes the exercise, right? Because we have made the choices here and we have reached a point where, where we found a stable model on both, uh, like you, you can think of this as a kind of tree and we have in both branches of the tree, we have found a stable model. So then we can stop. Okay, good. Then see you in another exercise. Ciao.